What's up, y'all? It's Cecil West, Beyond the Harmony, beyondtheharmony.com. Back again with the one and only... Johnny Pony telling jokes to your mommy. And he is a revered king with the most bling. I am Matthew Weaver. And this is your question of the week. You know the rules. We ask a question, you give us a answer, but we all start here. And this one, I'm so happy we are finally doing it. This is actually a fan question, and they didn't just put it in the comments. They emailed us twice. They put it in the comments. I think they hit us on Facebook. They really want to know. They really want to know. Eddie Johnson wants to know. Which would you rather hear, a Bone Thugs and Harmony R&B album or a Bone Thugs and Harmony rock album? And what was it that persuaded your answer in either direction? I just want to thank Eddie Johnson for asking that question. I almost feel like I paid him off <laughs> to submit such a question, <laughs> but I didn't. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised you never constructed a, a question like this oh i'm pretty sure i i alluded to it and protested for it and and, and tried to egg you on to do it but uh but thankfully eddie johnson came through with with the question that he was that, persistent i wasn't <laughs> it was his persistence that won he, he, he if he was trying to win my heart he did so i'm gonna give it to you and i think you might be surprised by the answer you would think after hearing this, this this show for three seasons, that that John Lippy would say he wants an R and B album. That's what you, I would think. You would think that. That's what and, I would. I would think. I would think that. And I would even think that. But when I thought about it, because I saw Eddie presented the question many times over. You thought you thought about you thinking about it. I thought about I thought about thinking about it. I thought about myself thinking about thinking about it. And I thought about thinking about thinking about thinking about thinking about it. And here I am thinking about it. Yeah. And what I think about it is that what if I get think? one shot at this and I only get one of two, because I, I was trying to look at it through the Cecil eyes to really break down the words. And it was like, you get one or the other. This is the end. Bones making one more album. It's not going to be rap. It's either going to be rock or it's going to be R&B. It's the last thing you're ever going to get. Or the only shot you're going to get at a non-rap album. And I was like, what can you do with R&B? R&B is pretty much just love songs. I don't even want to hear Bone make a love song. I, I, that's why I got into rap in the first place was that finally there was a music genre that wasn't all love songs. I'm like, man, how many love songs can they make? Not Bone, but how many love songs can humanity write? There's just so many of them. So I was like, I don't, I, don't, I mean, now, and then I was like, well, you know, rhythm and blues, I would love a blues Bone album, but that wasn't what the question was. And I thought about instrumentation for r and it's, it's, there's a variety to it, but when I'm thinking about a real produced album, because if they did this, it wouldn't be just some hip hop production. This would be a big deal, big deal production, bringing all the guns. I thought the instrumentation and the production level of a rock album, plus when it's a rock album, there's, there's so many different variants of rock. You got heavy metal, you got rock, you got pop rock, you got grunge, you got like whatever the heck Imagine Dragons are. So there's so many like different things you could do with rock. And then I started thinking about the songs. So I was like, all right, the R&B things, they never go full R&B. But there's been a few times that they went rock. And I realized that all five members can tear it up on the rock tip. Whereas with the R&B, they may be limited to their vocal range. R&B, you really got to be able to hit every single note and be a real pro at it. But with rock, anything goes. Rock is like rap. Anything goes. You just got to have the, the energy and the force with it. So most people think, you know, wish, whatever. Think about wish on, say, yeah, somebody's going to die tonight. That's That's a metal song disguised as a rap song. That's... That's that's rock right there. So Wishbone right there, his game is elevated super high on a rock album. Wish that may bring out the best of Wish that we never even knew. So thrilled that we never got a Wishbone album. Imagine Wish on a rock album first time out. Then you think about 
how great, and this is probably everybody's favorite track from New Waves. Whatever goes up must come down. Whatever goes up must come down is essentially like a, it's a rock song. And both of them, Busy Bone was just killing it at the beginning and even Crazy Bone was great on it. You got things like Can't Walk Away from Chasing the Devil. That's a, a it's a rock instrumental and Crazy's killing it on it. Flesh is killing it. It's still, they're still rapping on it, but you could see that it was like a, a transition option to get to that point. But probably the, the most peaking of your interest and curiosity is Crazy Bone on Straight Insane. He, he has like a, I don't know why I think of the Beatles when I, when I think of his verses, but then it, it then gets to the chorus and, and that's just so rock. So Straight Insane, I think, is the greatest example of, of what we could possibly get out of a rock album. Even though that's a solo track, you could bring everybody in on that one. We had a taste of with War from the Small Soldier soundtrack, the only Wish Lazy Flesh song I could think of. And they all, Flesh was great on it. Lazy was great. Wish, again, that's Wish's element is in the rock. It's, it's probably one of Wish's best performances. And, and when he does his repetition, it's okay, because that's rock style. Think about like Rage Against Machine. Zach De La Rocha is always repeating himself. <clears throat> Hold on to your soul from chasing the devil. That too is is based off of like it's not a metal group, but it's it's some kind of a rock group. I don't understand the genre, but that instrumental is from that. Bottled up like smoke with Busy Bone. Um, that was I mean that's rock right there. Yeah, it's Johnny Craig, but <clears throat> that's rock. Last call for alcohol. That's that's like Busy doing his uh, Ozzy Osbourne Black Sabbath. Uh, and then I, I, I've been talking too long, but I just want to show why a rock no, no, album by talk. Bone. All the time you want. I'm going to drop more at the end, but I just wanted to make my, my position. And I also wanted to say, like, um, you know, the songs with Mariah Carey and TQ and Felicia, they're all they're all great songs. And, and we've gotten a taste of what that can they're be. Like, they're, they're like your favorite songs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just making sure everybody knows like that these songs that are just okay are also John's favorite. Yeah, oh, if Bone if Bone made a, Mar a Mariah Carey album, a whole full length album, I would buy it even if they, you know, use the replacement lower budget option of Felicia, I'd buy it. Those are like my favorite tracks on on the Mo Thugs 4 and Crazy Bones Gemini and all that. So I'm good with that combo. And it, but even even better though is if TQ. I would take TQ, a TQ Bone album over a Mariah Carey and Felicia album. TQ with Bone, he should be the sixth member of Bone, in my opinion. Um, so I love the R and B, but I feel like I already tasted it. Like if I put all those together, I could get one R and B album. But I don't. Would you enjoy uh, uh, the Weekend and and Bone Thug song? Oh yeah, yeah. That whew, you know that they could everything Michael Jackson they wanted to do, they could just borrow the weekend or justin timberlake and and they could do it right there yeah yeah no nah, man the weekend the weekend they should at least do one track together that'd be killer and as i said before if if imagine dragons did a whole mashup album like jay-z did with lincoln park i think bone would become a mega 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 deal because i think that combo would just be that especially i think all five would would go nuts with those but that's my pick. That's why I'm going with with a rock album is because that feel hasn't been fully satisfied. And I think Flesh would tear it up. I think Lazy would tear it up. I think Lazy was trying to do a rock album at one point. And that track he did with Thin C with the guitars, that was dope. Every time they did, and I think even like, I don't know if Thug Pits considered that, but they've, they've done a couple other um, rock type tracks. And I think all five of them, their voices, their vocal ranges. And even I remember... I remember playing uh, "It Ain't a Game" with Little Easy to uh, to Uncle Sal one time, and he's like, "Yo, this is this is this is metal. This instrumental is a metal progression." He's like, "They're rapping. It's a rap song, but it, it this is along the same lines." So at the end, once you guys talk, I'm gonna drop a whole bunch of other tracks that are along these lines of non-rap tracks that Bone made. They've made a, a, a collection of them, and so I'm going with rock. I'm curious to hear what you guys got. Matt Weaver, you get one pick. You get a Bone Thugs and Harmony R&B album. You get a Bone Thugs and Harmony rock album. 
whatever R&B or rock means to you, what are you picking? I think that what you like isn't necessarily what you want to hear. And that could start a lot of fights real quick. But I think people are supposed to say, well, I like Leatherface, so I'm supposed to pick rock because that more closely associates with it. How many songs? Who is a bigger gangster than James Brown? <laughs> so I'm just going to start off with that. But I think that you need to get out of your headspace when you answer this question, if you're going to take it really seriously, because there's so many reasons to want to pick. If you are insane about Lazy and he might not have the biggest vocal range, you might pick a rock album because you want Lazy to shine. You might answer the question differently if you said what you started out with Cecil, if this is the last time you'd get a bone album. I don't, I can't live in that world. First of all, rappers never retire. That's, a, that's to me, that's a joke, but like, I can't, I don't know how I, I would uh, not be well if I thought that there, I would never get any more bone material. So I can't think of it in that way. Uh, I, I thought it was interesting when John said that R&B is about love songs. To me, it's uh, it can be about anything, especially uh, true raw emotions that don't necessarily have to do with love. Uh, and I think where I'm really going with all of this is, I don't know how you guys are, but sometimes it's hard to get behind a rapper when you know some of them are coming up on 50 years old I think uh, on the Mercury song, Lazy said he was 50 years old and he's, and he's flexing it and rightly so he should. But at what point, how many options does Crazy Bone have? Of course he made Lee's a legend. It's amazing. He's not shooting people tonight, right? <laughs> like, well, most likely not. But, you know, so you can't speak from a place of authority on something that you haven't done for 20 years and you shouldn't. You shouldn't want anybody to one song is good. Two songs is good, but that can't be what the album is about. And so for me, I think when you're talking about rock, you're usually thinking a little bit more aggressive or harsh. And um, we all like that high energy stuff. I think that's one of our favorite things about Bone Thugs is sometimes it's slower, but sometimes you just need to jump up and down when you hear it. And most artists well, that's why they are artists. People that can't achieve that aren't artists. They're just rappers or whatever, right? But um, I think you would get a bigger variety and you'd have a higher chance of being truly satisfied if it was uh, strictly r and I think that, I know we did a similar question on this quite some time back, or at least you two did. And maybe I talked out loud to myself when I was given my answer. <laughs> But uh, Breakdown might be the most accessible Bone Thug song. I think you could play it for anyone and no one, no one could, you could listen, hear that when you're shopping at TJ Maxx and not really think too much about it, right? Mm. Like Soccer Moms probably like, because it's right. Play it, bees. Yeah. <laughs> With my apps, right? So right. I think that um, more of that, I mean, is that an R&B song? It's, it's really a Mariah Carey song featuring Crazy and, and Wish or Lazy or what, whatever. I, I've listened to Bone so long, I can't remember what's the remix of what's original. <laughs> so, do, do we feel like New Waves was basically an R&B album, though? Or does it get more R&B than that? Are we talking breakdown for 17 songs? I think in my head, I had uh, Busy Bone doing One Night Stand Chorus or more like Days of Our Lives, where it's intermingled in between with, mm. um, you know, Wish is still rapping or doing what he did on Breakdown, which which worked really well, I think. But uh, it could be all over the board. But yeah, I don't want Bone Thugs lo love songs. Like, if, if that's what it is, that might, if I had that premonition and my crystal ball could tell me that, then I might, I might go to the other side. And I, I, I'm being super biased on this answer because a lot of what I listen to that's not Bone Thugs is probably more considered rock. So I'm getting plenty of that in my life too, but. That's a good point because uh, it, it's not this way anymore, but I remember 
when a lot of rappers would try to cross over to rock, the rock audience was just like, nah, nah, man, don't stay, stay in your lane. Don't try to do what we do. We're not trying to do what you do. And, um, and so my I, worst I just, nightmare is lit, is this turning into Limp Biscuit? Yeah. <laughs> like that's not, that's not music, right? Yeah. No, no, that, that, but hmm. I think they got a way more flavor than Fred Durst though, you know? Yeah. I'm thinking more along those lines of like that straight insane. It's, it's so for me, you know, I'm, when I say rock, I'm not saying it's all death metal. It's not even heavy metal. It's, it could be pop rock. It could be rock rock. It could be, you know, like incubus rock. It could, it could be all different types. It's, it's a wide, it could even be nine inch nails. They could call up Romeo Antonio and be like, Hey, get Trent Reznor on this track. But uh, I think there's so much more you can do. Like I think rocks, rock blends out into so many different options. So, and so I'm not even thinking along the lines of like tech nine where he's kind of got a formula and, and all of his songs are kind of the same that they go rock. Um, I'm thinking just to, to, to Cecil's point, like what is new waves? Is it a pop album? Is it a rock album? Is it an R and B album? Is it like, what, what is it? It's, it's pop R and B rock. If that's even a, I I'd like a, another new waves album that that was a pretty good blend, but I'd like it to go more, exploratory than just it kind of stayed in a range and i i would have liked the more of a variety on it so you know so, so matt well, went with the r&b and i went with the rock i guess you're the uh you're the deciding vote here cecil come on man come the fuck on man Come the fuck on, man. I don't know what you're picking, bro. I have no idea. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I, I, I'd have to flip a coin, man. I really don't know. No way. Oh, no, no, no. You know what? You would never go with R&B. Never. <laughs> never go with R&B. I don't want to listen to fucking Breakdown forever. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> I don't want to hear that fucking bullshit. I don't give a fuck how accessible it is. I don't give a shit. Fuck. <laughs> fuck that. Fuck that. If I get one Bone album, you're like, do you want to hear Days of Our Lives? Because that's what Bone does so good. Or do you want to hear E1999 Eternal meets One Step Closer to the Fucking Edge by fucking Linkin Park? That's what I want to hear. I want to hear fucking body rot with fucking heavy guitars. Mm. Somebody give me a metal breakdown in the middle of a fucking Bone song. I will take it, bro. I want to hear them murder shit yeah this is me saying now i'm living in the past i just picture some of those hard bone songs that real hard shit over some fucking hard oh man and romeo was there romeo was was touching on it but not even in the way that i want like i want i you had mentioned lincoln park and i'm like yeah bro that's what i want but with bone mm -hmm. Those those beats and that and not necessarily just those, just like stuff in that vein where it's kind of it's got some it's got a little bit of breath of hip hop in there, but it's hard as fuck. That's you, that's that's what I want, man. I want I want some. I, I don't even want like um, I don't even want Lincoln Park to the point where they that they calm it down for a song. And they do like a sing song. I don't even want that, bro. I just want, I'll, I'll take 10 instead of 17 because it might hurt the soul. I just want 10 <laughs> hard hitting, no surrender with guitars for 10 fucking songs. Give me the Ouija voice at the beginning of this album too, motherfuckers. Now, let me ask you though. Okay. Along the Lincoln Park tip, and I, I don't know how, how long you stayed with them, but would you want more like hybrid theory era Lincoln Park don't or the, the hunting part? I started singing like because the hunting party they just went crazy on that one like that was bro it was I, too much i can tell you i can tell you okay is, is it, i don't want to get off on a lincoln park tangent <laughs> but i can tell you that i remember being with my girlfriend at the time and i think it was it must have been minutes to midnight and i had like you know i did the old downloading of the album and not paying for it <laughs> And so we're in the car and I am just ready for, you know, Link, 
the 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 next Lincoln Park album. They had their album. They had the next album, or no, they did the remix album. Then they did their next album. I thought it was just going to be a continuation. I was like, here we go, Minutes to Midnight. It's, it's fucking soft rock album with with a couple of you know exceptions. And from there on, I was like, well, I'm coin flipping on these Lincoln Park guys now. They uh, lost me. But bro, if you if you want like too much heaviness, it, the hunting party it, it didn't even feel like a Linkin Park album. It was just them. If you want it hard, you might want to try that one because I know what you're meaning. Minutes to Midnight felt really soft, and I think they got so much hate so for soft. it. They're like, "Fuck it, we're gonna go crazy." But well, yeah, let's get. Well, I don't know. They kept it going on a thousand suns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They kept that singing pussy shit going. So, but 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 my point now that is, I don't want that singing pussy shit. I don't want it. Bone R&B songs are great. I've heard Bone R&B fucking songs for 20 fucking years. Let's not act like they haven't happened. They've happened. They've happened. Has a whole album happened? No. But could we compile a fucking double disc of Bone R&B? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we could. It's already happened. Would you? What if... I think more than rock the way we're thinking about it, I think I'd want a Bone alternative rock album like it's horrible. that 93 it's guitars yeah like 93 alternative slash grunge slash you know so it's what, introspective like nirvana not nirvana only because nirvana is the poster child but that era though that era and bone nirvana not bone and nirvana but i'm saying that era that era and like who give me give me your closest like instrumental interpretation of what this bone album would be like so i'd want it to be introspective but also cryptic and you're not even having a clue what the hell they're talking about you got to be on drugs to be able to understand it kind of thing um, sounds I'd, like it sucks i'd also want them to like immerse themselves in rock for a year okay so where they, they oh my god they, could you imagine busy bone as the lead singer of a rock band that's what I'm saying. It's like I, I want, I wanted busy. It's kind of like that time when oh, you when think you they broke fucking off. Fucking broke up before. My God. <laughs> well, that time you remember you broke off for a minute and you got with this the whole like I don't know if it was death metal or whatever the heck it was, but that like changed something inside of you. And oh if, yeah. And if the bones just broke off out of hip hop for for like a year and just like followed and and just got into the non rap culture, but the, but with musicians like hanging not necessarily romeo but romeo could introduce them to like people that are to, to teach them into the whole essence of of rock to get the abcs like jack black used to talk about on school of rock and just immerse themselves so that they become almost new artists and especially busy bone on a rock album and i'm not well, he already kind of did that though right well crossroads he, 2010 was well, what 85 percent kind of rock rock influence rap songs but but here's the thing having been Johnny there ha- having been there when when you've spent a whole lifetime doing rap when you cross over to rock you have these like stupid ideas of what it is so you're thinking it's first you think it's death metal for then you think it's rage against machine limp biscuit and, and all those that's not really rock that's some other stuff but if you get into the if you immerse yourself in it in all the different genres in the musical theory <clears throat> I think something would would click in them, kind of like watching Crazy Bone when he was on the set for Yakety Yak with those old timers. Yakety Yak, you could see he was his mind was clicking with them. He was still there to do his his rap thing, but you could see that if he spent a whole year with those guys, he'd come away with a with a musical understanding, and he would be changed forever after. Not, not saying that those guys were really musically inclined, but it was something outside of what they're used to. That's all I'm saying is when you branch out and, and crazy and busy. And, and I even think lazy and flesh and wish would surprise people with a varietal rock album. The, the first one would probably suck. The second one though, would be amazing. If here's, here's a bonus. Here's a bonus question. If all the members of bone were like a traditional rock group, who would play what, instrument and and who would just be your lead singer that doesn't play anything so i'm thinking of guns and roses and obviously busy bones axel rose 
I'd say Crazy Bones slash, and then I don't even know the names of the other guys, but th- th- that's 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 what I'm thinking so, of. I'm thinking so, of Guns N' Roses. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Crazy Bones, your lead guitar player. Who's your bass player? Uh, maybe flat because Wish is going to play drums. You got to have the big dude playing drums. Flesh is playing bass, and Lazy's the the. Actually, shit. Who would What's lazy? Like rhythm guitar? You know, like he's like, that's like yeah, the, the backup yeah. guitar, right? Yeah. La- Lazy's keeping the rhythm. Crazy's on the lead. Flesh is on the bass and Wish is on the, the drums. Mm. Well, how about you, Matt? Who's who's playing what in your rock bone? Band? This question makes absolutely less than zero sense, but you guys are totally wrong. Lazy is the lead guitar because he steers the ship and he always has the 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 maestro is the lead guitarist the lead singer is just you know not really usually has the same frame of mind as a musician in my opinion but i don't know i think uh as far i mean yes it's funny to think of uh, i wish on the drums uh, i definitely think that too but um i would say crazy is the bass he just keeps it going he's always there in the background consistent quality and uh busy bones obviously the biggest rock star type personality hard to argue with that and uh, Flush and Bone isn't always there, so he would probably be the keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. You know, I, um, I think of Crazy as the maestro, by the way, which is why I had him as, like, I don't, I don't, I think of Lazy as the rhythm, and that's, I don't see him as the maestro, but that's, I'm, I love that you, that you see it that way. And, but yeah, I'm just I, letting you I know that that's. That way. What the fuck does Lazy Bone's the rhythm? <laughs> <laughs> What was it? I hear like, Lazy Bone rap off beat all the time. You can't say he's rhythm. <laughs> he has the most fun. So, so we got we have two rocks, one R and B's. But I wanna I wanna give Eddie the the, the full gamut, the, the the full brainstorm. He loves your fucking question, Eddie. I hope I hope you love our answers. I hope you love the bonus. Did you pay Eddie? Or, or sorry, how much did you pay Eddie? Sorry. No, I, I almost want to pay him. Like I feel like I owe him a tip. That's why I'm giving him a bonus round here because. Because he just he just opened up every Johnny can of worms that I couldn't get opened with Cecil. So I'm gonna again, laugh if he picks R and B and he's against you. <laughs> I'm not. I don't know if anybody would be banging that hard for an R and B album because, like I said, they pretty much already got that. If you if you put if you just take the Mariah Carey, Felicia, TQ tracks, you, you got your R and B album right there, and, and and whatever you want off a new wave. Not to, not to mention, Crazy's got like a bunch with other. R&B. Yeah. And- and you know that's the other thing too is there there is an aspect that I you would think I would like that Crazy Bone does he does like a lot of oldies like old soul type tracks mm-hmm. like disco we soul and I I'm not like hey, don't worry about a damn thing I, th- I don't really like that like it's there but it doesn't really do it for me it does it for other people but I'm just like I mean if you're gonna do something alternative what, that's the last what, thing I want. What's your me. pinnacle RB bone song? Like the one that you're like, this is the best example of bone RB. Okay. This the this is the biggest, the biggest moment and the biggest tease. It's uh your love don't make no sense to me, Gerald Levert and Lazy Bone. But Lazy's verse, it's like I'm like, oh, this is what I waited my life for. And then he just stops. Wow. That's that's what I wanted, bro. If I, if if Lazy would have gave us a whole track like that, that would have blown me away. Like that, I think about that all. I'm like, man, I wish I wish it was more Lazy than Levert. That's what I wanted as far as R&B goes. Like I, it, you know, I said I don't want a love album, but if it's Lazy Bone doing it, I want it, and I want it just like that. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> that, that's that, that's the mo- that's the pinnacle R&B moment right there, and it's so short. It's like. It, it's like Lazy Bone did a Crazy Bone and gave us a snippet of what could be, and then it never happened. Did, did you like Montel Jordan and Flesh and Bone Falling? And does it always surprise you how much I do? I would have loved. It surprises me how much you do. I would have loved it if Flesh and Bone was Flesh and Bone and not this new guy that was re- the replacement Flesh Bone with this high pitched voice and threw me off. If it was creeping on a come up eternal flesh i think that might have been like i that would have blown my in fact if flesh was eternal creeping flesh the the thugs album might be my favorite album i was so excited to get it and then it was like well what will happen is this flesh bone where when is flesh going to show up this is some other guy 
So that really killed me, the the change in voice. So did you did you ever hear their second song? Yeah, f- f- there was Fallen and then there was the other one. It was one. like on Rush Hour. Yeah, it was. Oh, it yeah, kinda, yeah, yeah. I heard it like once or twice. Yeah. I have I, a confession. I, 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 I didn't care about the song, but I, I like that they, they kind of made a a little, you know, if I die tonight. They made a little thing. Like it was like, oh shit, Flesh and Montel, they're they're cool. They did more than one song. And Buddha Lovers, you know, that that's I guess an R and B track. They're re reproduce they're redoing Choosy Lovers by the Isley brothers. And I liked how that one went. I, I wouldn't mind a whole album of that, although I'd want the instrumental and the recording quality. I've always felt like the recording quality was off on that. So like a better sounding version of that. And it's all Mo Thug is kind of singing and Hate and Nation is. So like, hey, those are two tracks off of Art of War. So you think you don't like the R&B, but and Crazy Bones solos on that. Um, uh, uh, everything's going to be all right. And it's all real what you see. So, I mean, are you okay with that? Is that R&B or is that soul? I think that's soul. And I think that's, it's a difference. Yeah. It's like R&B slash soul. I think when we classify Bone as doing an R&B album, I think what we probably would want is a soul album, if it's if that's even a difference. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I want think like if a, you get a bo- you get a bone you get a Bone R&B album, and it's going to be more like a probably a Motown album. Yeah, yeah, you know something like that. Matt said he's got a confession. This is your confessional. The listeners are your father. Lay the confessional down. I'm in love with Big B. Oh, yeah. I love Any Big high-pitched B. male R&B voice, game over. I'll listen to it all day. Immature, busy bone, Big B. Did, did you also like Cat Cody? Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, Matt. That's for you, but I love Cat Cody, too. <laughs> My bad. It's not. It's not my flavor. No. Uh, Re- really? It, it, on the freeway? I thought he sounded just like Busy Bone on On the Freeway. I love the melody, but I don't know. Maybe maybe I just love Big B too much, and I don't have room for Cat Cody in my heart. <laughs> Who, who's the guy that, on on Family Tree says got to make that money, man? Instead of saying yeah, is that Cat, Cat Cody? I know. I know he's on there. Whoever that dude is needs a whole album. I'm buying it. I'm pre-ordering it. Whoever that whoever that dude is, I want an album from that guy. And I do want a Big B album. I mean, that's not possible at this point. But yeah, Big B. I, I thought Big B was busy bone for the longest, and then I seen. I was like, wait a minute, Big B. <laughs> that's you mean to tell me that's not busy bone singing all those choruses? That's not busy doing change the world. That's not busy doing. I understand. Yeah, he had a great voice. Yeah, and and walk yeah. this way, and so yeah, walk this way is phenomenal. So, so I want to throw some songs at you. Th- th- this is what I was trying to get to because this this is this is quite the list, and it's and what's great is this is not even exhaustive. It's not authoritative. It's not thorough. This is just a glimpse of the variety that Bones provided. So I mentioned Straight Insane, Bad Dream <laughs> from New Waves. That's pop, I guess. I love the vibe on that. I mentioned whatever goes up. That track Pain that Crazy Bone did with Aaron Lafette. I think that was great. I, I, I love that. That one's definitely not rap at all. Um, I, do you know the song, Cecil? Did you ever see the video for it? No. How Crazy Bone appears like an absolute giant compared to everybody else. Like Crazy Bone looks like he's eight feet tall in that video. And uh, Have you seen it, Matt? You know what I'm talking about? A no. little pain never lasts too long. I need to find it out, though. It, it, it's a great track. Um, Ruthless, that was a great one on New Waves as well. Like, that's, I get, I mean, it's R&B, but it's pop. Um, we got Sweet Jane, and I think there's multiple songs called Sweet Jane. Smoking Buddha, A Wise Fool, has like a, a rock beat. Like, that beat kind of reminds me of something that, like, I don't know, uh, that, that group that sang uh, Aerials in the Sky, um, System of a Down might have done. Um, Hate Nation, Bottled Up Like Smoke, Last Call for Alcohol, Busy Bones album, War 420. That's Lazy Bone and Thin Sea. It's got some guitars on it. I know a lot of people don't like War, but I loved it. Hmm. Yeah, man, throw, throw a highlight film over War and you'll like it. Um, can't Walk Away. It's so hard to let go. That's over a Lincoln Park beat. We were talking about Lincoln Park 
so hard to let go is over um, the time mm -hmm. track. Uh, my perfect is also a, uh, it's a Lincoln Park esque beat. It's by um, Fort Minor. That was Mike Shinoda's group. That's on I remember that. Fixed Tape 4. Yep. I mentioned Hold On To Your Soul. Bro, Armageddon. That's, that's epic right there. Like that one has all kinds of different elements to it. Don't know why. This ain't a game I mentioned. Life a lesson to learn. It just felt like alternative. Revolution with uh, the Marlies. Yakety Yak, Scraping the Sky. No Sense with Levert. Maybe It's Me. Um, I guess that's over a Beyonce beat or Destiny's Child. You know the track on Fix Tape 1? That crazy did. Maybe it's yeah. me. That's yeah, no, it's crazy. definitely it's Destiny Child or Beyonce or some shit. I think it's Destiny's Child. Take your time with Trey. We didn't mention that for the R&B. Um, I still believe with Mariah Carey. Major Greater, you know, that's kind of, it's kind of like got a, a R&B-esque kind of vibe. Not your average, not the average brother in your video. Neighborhood Slang, Sailing, Paradise. What, is that song called Sailing or is it called Paradise? But nonetheless, the one by Christopher Cross that was the first song Busy Bone ever heard and Crazy remade it. Uh, won't give it to you won't be long see what you're doing with your incredibly long list but i just want you to know that like some of these that you named i'm just like eh, they're just bone songs like yeah they're not a regular rap song they're not an r&b song like i get that they're just kind of different but i'm like how would you yeah. classify won't be long from fix tape three i think the one over but the one republic beat over, uh... but, but it's t it's tough to do those because you know what that song is and what yeah. it, you, so like if you didn't have the one republic situation to fall back on and you just heard crazy bone over that beat you may not be like this is so different you may just be like yeah it's crazy bone but, yeah but don't you think that's his like neighborhood slang style like we always wanted a full-length neighborhood slang i always felt like that track mm -hmm. might have like satisfied that and <laughs> Yeah, I, it's different, but I'm just saying in terms of like, I don't know. I don't know. But but continue your list. Continue so, your list. So then we got Reggae with Satan's Disciples off of Busy Bones Beginning and the End album, which I'm surprised people don't talk about that more. Satan's Disciples. Yeah. Got, <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, Smile with Alicia Keys. Which I think that's a real underrated song, by the way. I, I love Crazy Bones' verse on it. It's tremendously triumphant and positive. It's like super duper positive, uh, motivational. It's 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 so different than rap music. Um, my perfect. I, did, did I mention that? Did I say that already? My perfect was that earlier. Yeah, my perfect's on there twice. Um, we got time after time. I always felt like that was kind of. I guess it's Bone. Talk to myself. Smoke with me. Say goodbye, goodbye, Jane. A little bit of thug. I've been around. <laughs> I used to play I've been around a lot. I was hoping we'd get more of that. Walking in the rain, pop like paper. When the Lord comes riding, nowhere to run. Come on, to hide. that's just a fucking that's just a fucking rap song. I think it's got a bunch of thug line guys on it. Like it's just a fucking no, rap I'm song. saying you know, if he went all the way doing um what the heck was the original song called? I was gonna say, I think I think the part that you like the most is already a song. <laughs> so, so I'd be, uh, yeah, to, to that point, I'd be totally cool with a Bone cover album if they if they did like if they oh, did. The, I would kill for that, yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, um, Mister. I can hear Lazy Bone do Blink One Eighty Two, all the small things. I'm I'm game. Yeah, I'll, I'll throw money in on this. Go for it. I would pay. I would pay for that to happen. We got Mister Looks So Good. Let's live. I mentioned that earlier. Live my life reckless. I don't know why how that is on there. Um, meal ticket these days. Fight the fall. Murder music too. It's all on you. If heaven had a cell phone. Busy unplugged. Interpret the serpent. Bottle service, bro. I'll take a Bone Techno album or whatever the heck Bottle Service is. I'll take a whole Bone album of that over any of these options. Um, on the freeway, one night stand, Buddha lovers, bad weed blues. I might even take a blues album over a bottle service album. It's all Mo Thug. It's all real. Hard times. 
how many of us have them? <laughs> Paradise with TQ. And that's my list of, of alternative oh, phone tracks outside oh, of New Waves the whole time. No wonder you said this was going to be a long question of the day, question of the week. This is the question of the lifetime. So, so of all these genres, though, I, I want to throw this at you because we already know we got two for rock, one for R&B. But if you could choose any genre of music, what would you want Bone to do? Besides rap. Rock, the fucking hard, heavy fucking rock album. What about you, Matt? I think what really is escaping me and is, you know, final answer for sure is whatever's more complicated musically. Yeah. Um, what do you call, you know, name a rap song that isn't just first chorus first when what elevates us to the next level and makes us like perk up and take note is when there's a bridge or anything out of the ordinary because how many can do it like bone can right yeah um what comes to mind first is all the cuts from uh, unified they just seem a little bit you know like they almost put more work and effort into those than what made it on the album uh, i know i keep going back to one night stand but it's not just strict first chorus first it's more complicated uh i i hate to pick on old songs like that or keep trying to refer to the past but we know they're capable of it if, so. if dear if dear lazy over the stairway to heaven instrumental was more than just busy recycling is the same verse over and over again oh man do i love that song even i i love the recycling of the verse really <laughs> i love it because each one's it's uh its own recording Oh, okay. So, so it was, he was like reiterating it or like saying, if you didn't hear me the first time, let me say it again. Let me get it. Bro, through. you got to listen it. to it and listen closer, bro. Each one's its own recording. Wow. I, if, if, if it was three verses that were different, I, that one may have gotten so much more play for me because that's, that's along the lines also of what I wanted to see. Like if they just redid a bunch of classic rock songs, that would satisfy me i mean if they just went okay. through one would you guys enjoy a bone thugs and harmony acapella group like the old school multiple layer acapella group yeah like a doo-wop album kind of thing yeah but but like the acapella groups they have no fucking music like somebody's doing oh, the low yeah. bassy and like pentatonic you know, pentatonic shit like that i think uh what was the big group? Rock Capella or some shit like that? That would be freaking phenomenal. They did the Where in the World is Carmen San Diego beat or song. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? That would be spectacular. Yes, bro. And and and, and throw some some Lindsey Sterling in there to, to throw some violins on it. Number two, do you think we can cameo Lazy Bone to sing Blink 182 songs? <laughs> That's a fucking. That's a good hundred dollars spent. If we, that's hundred dollars ever spent right there. That's a good hundred dollars. Yeah, bro. If we if listen, if we cameo each of them a hundred dollars and just like a small piece of the verse, we can get them to sing an entire Blink One Eighty Two song or at least a verse and chorus. Bro, um, I got five. I also want. I want Crazy Bone over Smooth Criminal by Michael Jackson. That that. I got five on that one, but yeah, blink eight, blink one eighty two, and, and lazy <laughs> for sure, bro. <laughs> well, this was the big question. This was our our fan writing question from Eddie Johnson. He wanted to know which would you rather hear a Bone Thugs and R and B album or a Bone Thugs rock album. You heard what we had to say. Me and John went with rock, and I say that in quotes because. Sounds like our rock. They were they were different rock albums. But John and I went with rock. Matt Weaver, he went with an R&B album. Now it's your time to shine. Make sure you hit up those comments. Let us know. Is it rock? Is it R&B? Feel free to answer all those other 150 questions that we asked in the middle of this as well. And we will catch you on the next one. Beyond the harmony for the fans we celebrate. All good in the